Welcome to our tutorial on using a sprite sheet in Godot. I know, I know, working with the sprite sheet can be a real pain in the pixel, but don't worry, we have got you covered. There are different types of sprite sheet that you will find on the internet, and I have covered all of them along with the best and easy way to use them. So watch this video till the end and you will be the master of sprite sheet. Let's start with the easy one. The first type of sprite sheet you will come across is a splitter sprite sheet. This sprite sheet comes with separate images for each frame like this walking animation with 6 images. To use them, all you have to do is add an animated sprite node, then in the inspector panel, you will find a frame option. Create a new sprite frame and open the sprite frame panel. You can set the name of animation by double clicking here, and then just drag and drop all the images you have. You can also use these two buttons to move any of the frame left or right. Now just click on the animated sprite node, and in the inspector, select the animation you just created and then turn on the plane. Now let's move on to the second type of sprite sheet you will often encounter, the single sprite sheet. These sprite sheet come with all the animation frames as a single PNG file. But don't worry, you won't have to use a regular sprite node to split the image and then add an animation player to cycle through different frames. Instead, I will show you an efficient way to do that in animated sprite node. This time, instead of drag and dropping the image, you will click on this icon that says Add Frame from a Sprite Sheet. Then select your Sprite Sheet and in the top, specify how many vertical and horizontal frame your Sprite Sheet contains. In this Sprite Sheet, there are 8 vertical and horizontal frames. If you only want to use specific frame from the Sprite Sheet, you can select them manually. But if you want to use all the frames, just press this button and finally click on Add. Now you have all the individual frame. And if you want to increase the animation speed, you can do that from here or from the inspector. Now just turn on playing and you have your beautiful animation. Now the third kind of sprite sheet that you will find is uneven sprite sheet. This sprite sheet contains items of different sizes. To get a particular item from the entire sprite sheet, we will be using a regular sprite node. So just add your sprite in the texture property, then go to the region section and enable it. Now in the bottom, you will see a new texture region tab. Open it and in the top, set the snap mode to auto slice. And this will detect and break down the different images present in the sprite sheet. Now you can select whatever image you want to use. But keep in mind that this isn't always accurate. As you can see in the example, we have failed to detect and split these bottles. So the next option is to use grid snap or pixel snap. Both are pretty similar. Now you just have to drag and select the item you want to use. Also for the fine adjustment, you can set the region from the inspector. Now the final type of sprite sheet that you will encounter is a defective one. For example, I have this sprite sheet, but when I add this sprite sheet to an animated sprite node, you will notice that this is not evenly spaced out. This means that you can't simply divide the image. So now you have two options. If you know how to do image editing, then you can split the image into individual frame of the same size. But if you are like me who is not good in editing, then you have to animate it using sprite node and animation player. For this, first set the sprite sheet in the texture property, then in the animation, specify the number of frames your sprite sheet contains. Now you will see that the image is not aligned. And to solve this, we have to use the region property. So enable the region, and now in the texture region tab, drag the area which only cover all the frames. You should also see in the editor while dragging and try to drag in such a way that the first frame is roughly at the center. Once you are satisfied with the first frame, Go to the animation player and create a new animation. Now come back to your sprite node and now you will see a key icon after frames. So click on the key icon and this will add a keyframe. Now move the pointer and click on the key to add another keyframe. You can now just keep pressing the key icon and the pointer will move forward automatically. Now if you play the animation, you will see not all the images are centered. So move the animation pointer at the second frame. Now you have to move the image left or right by changing the x value in the region. For example, switching between first and second frame, I can see that the image in the second frame is shifted toward the left. So to move it to the right, I will decrease the value of x. And now you can see both the image is perfectly aligned. Similarly on comparing the second and third frame, I can see that the image is more to the right. So to shift it to the left, I will increase the value of x. And now you can see the first three frames are perfectly aligned. Now you just have to repeat the same process for all the frames. Once you are done, 
Make sure you set the update mode from continuous to discrete. And that's it. Your animation is ready. I know the last one get a bit complex, but that's what I do when I get some defective sprite sheet. If you have some easy option, then write down in the comments, I really need it. Also, if you find this video helpful, then do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Godot related content. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.